Welcome back to EA Sports, continuing coverage of the playoffs. I'm James Cebulski. Game five set to go between these two teams that have put on a fight so far. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're on the way. Grabbed along the board by Thomas. Takes a shot. Scores! And quick as a hiccup, they are on the board here in this one. Well, that's a dream start, James, and it's one they were looking for. You want to come out, you want to get out front, and you want to dictate pace. This is just a great goal, James, and just reiterates that in today's game, the hands are separate from the body. He's stumbling and still has his eyes on the puck, not in the greatest position, but manages to get a shot off that beats the tender. Trois Riviers on the board quickly here in this one, and wow, what a start. Yeah, this feels good if you're the away team. This is exactly the way you want it to start. This is exactly the way the coach drew it up, and maybe even better. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. The Lions take it along the wall. Norfolk's gained possession along the boards. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Moves it to the middle, and that's blocked in front. The Admirals cross the line and gain the zone. And that's blocked. Trois Rivières got it in their own zone. on the attack now. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one goal lead and now you find yourself back on your heels and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. The Admirals will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James. Finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. Here's a chance! That's a textbook save by Verbetic. Here's a chance. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Handles the puck at the point. Norfolk's got to hold him it against the wall. Battle ensues for that loose puck from on the boards. Into the offensive zone. Seconds left. Shot. A strong penalty killing performance on that one as both teams are now back to even strength. Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer, and they just weren't able to generate anything on that one. And that's a tough one to take as they remain down by a goal at even strength. A chance! Let's get the call. Well, it's kind of hard to protect a one-goal lead when you're sitting in the box and your team's short-handed, James. The PK unit's going to have to find a way to stave off the power play here and get the job done. The Admirals advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it and look for different adjustments to be made. Here's a shot. Blocked in traffic. Takes the feed. Takes the shot. Sacrifices the body. McLean's lugging the puck. Great defensive effort with the stick. Still has possession. And the puck leaves the zone. Comes away by Molini. Nice dish from the left wing. Juan Riviere has got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And the puck clears the zone. Norfolk's looking to break out. The Lions preserve the lead as their penalty killers get the job done. Sometimes when you get out there on a PK, you can get on your heels, but with a one-goal lead, you can dictate the pace and felt like they were hopping on the puck all over the ice. A lot of chemistry shown. You can certainly see they've been practicing. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We got a one-nothing game to this point. Puck picked up by Mercier Ortiz. 
with possession along the wall. He looks deep to Ribadon. The Lions get a hold of the puck along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Nice speed at center, moves up ahead now. Takes the puck, scores! And they strike pay dirt once again. Yeah, they do, and their opponents down on their heels are deflated. They gotta find a way to continue with the pressure, be relentless, and try and get another one. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Norfolk's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Slick feed. And the defenders come up with the puck. He's got a little jump. Flips it across. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Here in the back half of this period, Trois Rivieres really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that's wide of the net. He really bared down on a stick on that one. He got the velocity behind it, but it was nowhere near the net. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Along the wing up the neutral zone. And now it's grabbed by Mercier Ortiz. And he rings the post. The Lions get a little bit of bad luck right here as the puck goes off the post and out. The good part is they still have the lead. All the officials were all over that trip. The Admirals pick up steam and are on the attack. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Three penalties in one period. you got to stay disciplined. And what it does is it disrupts the flow of your bench. Oh, your PKers are getting out of there. Norfolk's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Thomas is tripped up, and we've got a penalty coming up. Let's get the call here. The Admirals are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Offensively. They'll play some four-on-four. Four-on-four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. The Admirals gain control of the puck against the wall. Steps into the offensive end. A chance! take the win or the momentum out of their opponent's sails. This is exactly what they needed to get back on the board and get the momentum shift back in their favor. Norfolk's counterpunched here in the first period, and they're right back into it. Well, yeah, can look at the game in different bunches, and this one is certainly going to mean something. Resetting and finding a way to create some much-needed offense. Caddick's gained possession inside the neutral zone. Broken up by Thomas. He carries the puck up along the wing. Quick shot! Oh, my goodness, it's Tina! What a save! It was all but in, James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. And as he skates back out onto the ice, it's a brief power play. They'll have to go to work here. And he takes the feed. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Right up Main Street and on the attack. And that's poked away by Martin. Takes the feed at the point. And that's blocked in traffic. Moving into the attacking zone. Puts the puck on net. Just wide. Back to the point it goes. Denies him on the play. Can't keep a hold of it. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will give his team a bye. 
much need of rest. The Lions wanted to put a lot of pucks on net going into this one, and they have delivered on that, leading late in the first. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Dumps it in. The Lions gain control of the puck. On the left side, he moves it up ahead. Quick pass to Parker Jones. Going with the stop. Covers it up and will get a stoppage in play. Getting into the later stages of this period, we've got a 2-1 game. Off the draw and he ties up his opponent. Norfolk's cross the line and on the attack. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Tripped up on the play, delayed penalty coming up. Here's a short pass to Filio. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moves it to Beauregard. And the officials will pass the sentence here. The end of a period in a tight game and you take a penalty? Well, your PK unit, they've got to do a job and get you to the intermission. And they win the draw on their own end. Trois Riviere's got possession of the puck. And he holds on just as time runs out. Scores! Off the post and in! Well, that's a real sneaky one that fooled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. You can just see the weight shift, James, there in that slap shot where he's able to just tag it as he walks into it and beats the goaltender low stick side. Trois Rivières has been the better team here in this first period. More shots and more goals. Just a better all-around execution.
both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh in this second period about set to get underway. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment? The Admirals need to find their legs, James. There's no urgency, and they really haven't been skating at all. They've been chasing the game. They've had zero possession time. They've got to find a way to carry the puck and get some opportunities. Norfolk's got the puck in their own end. The Admirals cross the blue line and are on the attack. There's a shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Knocked away in the offensive zone. He got all that hit. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Here's the official call. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call. Norfolk's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Power play has just been average tonight, James. Not been really awful, but it certainly hasn't been great. But that's the good part. You can make a difference right now. The Admiral scoop it up along the boards. Great poke by Beauregard. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Nice save from Cole Blank Range. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Here's a chance, sends it in front, and it goes off a stick and off target. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? And from like a swamp, he's out here with this pressure. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. An average PK starting to find its stride there with that kill, and it's all about what he can do next, and that was a good one. The Edwards gain possession. The defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Trois Riviere's moving it along the wing. Good hit to poke him off the puck. Norfolk's ready to go on the attack. Trois Riviere's got control of it now from their own end. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. Gaining momentum along the wing. Slides the puck over. Taken by Kubasek. The Admirals looking against the half wall. He to the middle! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! A skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Lions have it now. Pass it through! He scores! What a play! takes hard work in the intangibles to get available for a one-timer in that low slot area. You know it's going to be a grind. You're going to have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries it home. Well, Riviere's carried the puck like it's been on a string all night, Cheryl. Puck's been on their stick and their opponent's been on their heels. They've just been worn down with the offensive zone possession time. And how about the goaltender? Seen so much rubber tonight and a lot in the netting. Pucks it away in his own end. The Admirals have it now. Come through center and into the offensive end. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. Moves it quickly over to McLean. Just slide to the net. Novak's got it in the defensive end. The Admirals gain possession in their own end. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Takes the puck at the point. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. The Lions have been the better team tonight by far. I mean, this is coming right off of without the puck. They know when to close, they know how to intercept, and it's all because of their awareness and stems from their positioning. Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal! Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. The Lions look about as dominant as I have seen them all season here, Cheryl. This period has been unbelievable for them. Yeah, they're dictating pace and they're dictating the play all over the ice. And then they're executing on their opportunities. It's a reason why they hold the lead. Who's it in front? And that's intercepted. Quick feed 
to rub it down. Shot! Scores! And they finally stop the fight and answer back. Well, it ain't over yet. Anytime you can claw your way back into a game and there's time on the clock, there's an opportunity to answer. That's great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier. And they gained that entry because they got numerical advantage. And they capitalized and executed with it. Norfolk's got to find a way to build on this now. This is the time. It certainly is, James. And that's something to build off when you get a goal. You can't sit idly by like you have all game. You have to find a way to execute and create some momentum and more offense if they want to get back in the game. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. The Admirals move the puck in the defensive zone. Shot! Easily turned aside by Verbetic. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. The Lions have it against the wall. Picks it off in the offensive end! Quick pass to Rubina. And that's blocked away. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. Power play has just been average tonight, James. But hey, it hasn't been in the basement, right? Good heads up play to sneak in there on the tie up and come up with the puck. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. The Admirals take possession off the faceoff. I don't even know if a soccer net would have found the back of that one. He's in the middle of the ice and he misses by a Still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. The Lions get a hold of the puck in their own end. And the puck clears the zone. The Eagles take possession in the defensive end. McLean's moving the puck through his own zone. Here's the pass. And there's the save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. The Lions have spent the majority of tonight in the offensive zone, and they continue to lead big time here late in the second. They win the draw and go on the attack. Dives up in front. Trois Rivieres got the puck in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Duchard. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. While Rivière has generated a lot of quality scoring chances, which is why they lead here late in the second. The Lions win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Pass back to the point. Oh, and he puts it wide of the net. Ron, this is a near miss, James. You're trying to be accurate. You know how good the goaltenders are, and you just missed by a few inches. While Rivière has got a hold of the puck. Handles the pass behind the cage. For point blank, gives them nothing in front. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Here in the later stages of this period, lots of goals on display tonight. It's 5-2. Takes a shot, and that's deflected off someone in front. Trois Rivieres got it across the line. Big save. And that frees up possession. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Shot! Whistle blown, stopping the play. And that's the third call of the period, and it really looks like they weren't dialed in or ready to play in this game, and preparation is key. Otherwise, things like this happen. Once again, send out their power play unit. 
They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Well, Riviere has got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Good fight for the puck along the boards. And it's a quick pass to no. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Oh, great glove save by Verbenich. Takes the beat at the back end. Scores! And they make the most of the time remaining. Well, it's a buzzer beater there, James. And they are now buzzing heading into the intermission. You know that's carried momentum. But they'll have to find a way to start the next period the same way they ended the last one. The Admirals are down, but they're certainly not out after that strike. They needed a little offensive flair to get back in this one. Now a deficit of two, and with an intermission that looms ahead, there'll be a lot of talk about and get going in the third. Puck grab by Thomas. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. There's the buzzer, bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more and more. For ease available now, don't miss your opportunity to pick up the best locations for next season. Stop by section 144 on the golf course.
I love the 1-3-1 one, one set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Sent into the offensive zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Takes the feed. Carroll's gained the line and on the attack. Centering feed! And that's stopped! Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. And they get the job done. Poked away in the defensive end. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. You know how often that this PK has been practiced together, and you know that the coach is liking this. Every time they go out there, they know exactly what they're doing. They're reading off one another, and you have to have chemistry when you're playing on a PK unit. coming up here let's get the official decision they got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here James them frustrating calls no question about it but they got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game and a man advantage unit goes right back to work the power play has seen success tonight and I like what they've been doing James just reading the ice that they've been given nothing static a lot of motion and really where the place is to attack this. Made the stop on the play. I'm not sure how we saw this puck, James. I mean, he's screened, there's a ton of traffic, and he finds the puck to make the save. That was a fabulous one. Gays recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Lions win it in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Marisa Ortiz. And that's a solid floating attempt on the play. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Moves the puck. Gets the full use of his stick on the puck check. Turned aside with the club by Rubinich. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. While Rivier is taking possession in their own end. and they did just that. Quick feed to Boyer. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Sends the pass over. Off target! And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. What an entertaining game, James. A lot of goal calls for you as it's been back and forth action in the offensive zone. Not much defensive structure to this one as everyone's looking to attack. 
Well, in this situation, he is going to get the tripping goal. I thought he had good position there on his opponent, James, fishing for the puck. Just used his stick, and it got into the skates. Tripping is the call. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really spread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. Trois Rivieres got a hold of the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. There's a collision with some authority. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Martin. Takes a shot. The Admirals get a hold of the puck under man. Good read with the stick to break that up. Quick pass to Martin. Parker Jones takes it into the offensive zone. The man advantage expires and a tip of the cap for the penalty killers who come off big. Part of being an elite athlete is recognizing the timing of when you get your opportunity. Pressure and embracing it is everything. Everyone in the building, the staff, your team knows how important that was. And it was a miss. The Admirals can get an A for effort in this game. It's been back and forth action. Really equal The Admirals are trying to claw their way back into this game, and that's not how you do it. When you have an opportunity to execute, you have to find the back of the net. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. And that's blocked in front. Grabs it in his own end. Norfolk's got it in their own zone. And he can't hang on after that hit. Parker Jones plays it into the offensive zone. The Admirals gain possession along the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Well saved made by Verbetic. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Quite the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Who wins? Carlin Bain has her answer. Voyez played hard, guys, and he's even manufactured some offense in this game. I'm giving him my vote for this matchup tonight. Sends it over to Voyez. Norfolk's going on the attack as they gain the zone. sense of urgency. Watch out. You can feel the wave coming, James. Norfolk's got to be feeling confident now getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming and they got to win this faceoff and dictate the pace. Handles the puck. Quick pass to Rubidon. The Admirals have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. For Bates has opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. That is a lonely cage at the other end of the ice here, Cheryl. Well, it certainly is, and an extra attacker on the ice. Possession is critical. Got to win this face-off. The Admirals win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. The Admirals move it ahead. Fans calling for a shot before it's too late. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. And with the victory, now just one win away from closing out this series, Cheryl. Yeah, and there's two trains of thought here. I mean, you're up 3-2, and you know you're so close to getting through the series and clinching, but yet you're still far away. You have to have the killer instinct, and you do not want to allow your opponent in and force a Game 7. The playoffs are a war of attrition, and we know that they will continue, and we will see you then at the next broadcast. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. We'll talk to you then.